Alright guys, so let's let's finish this piece now. So we're gonna add in the extra edge loops that we need for the solidification. So let's take this one, let's get onto the side view real quick. Let's go in here, we're gonna add in an edge loop through here. So press Ctrl and R through here. You can see that goes all the way to this side instead of upwards. So what we're gonna do is let's hide let's hide this edge loop over here. Press Ctrl and R through here, press E to align it to the very top there. Put that in and then let's move up here. Let's press Ctrl and R and then again it goes all the way through to this side. So we're gonna add hide this one as well. Oh no, let's hide this one instead. I'll press Ctrl and R again through here and press E and then F and F again to align it with the other side. Make sure it lines up with this vertex here. Let's move on over here. Let's press Ctrl and R again. It goes all the way up there. So what we're gonna do is hide this one. Press Ctrl and R, press E and then F to align it with this side same amount like that and finally over here press E and then F to align it with that side like that uh, where did that go there it is so let's zoom in and let's see what we have alright so that is looking good it's looking very good let me just take these two and assign it to the vertex group real quick because I think I think they were removed for some reason oh let's remove them instead let's remove them yeah, so let's remove them. Let me see, maybe we can assign these. Oh no, remove them. Alright, press Alt and H now. Let's go on down here and let's start fixing things up. So take these two, press Alt and M, and merge it at the last one right there. Like that. And let's go up here. And let's take these two. We're going to merge this at the center. Oh no, at the first. Merge it at the first like that. Let's go up some more. And over here. Um, let's take this to press Alt M at last, like that, and that goes all the way through, I presume. I should go all the way through to the bottom here, and it does. So that is looking good, nice. I just think we should have pulled this out a little bit. So let's just press G twice, and then press E to align it with that side, and let's just. Let's pull it out a little bit down where we had it before, so about here. So you can see where we had it before and where we have it now. So that should work out all the way through nicely. And it did. So that is looking good. Nice. I don't know what is going on here though. Maybe these two are assigned to the vertex group. Let's remove them and see. Yeah, they are. So remove all of these from the vertex group to fix that. Let me go into wireframe, select this, remove. Let's go into solid. Yeah, let's select all of these and assign it. I think that is better. Let's. Yeah, that is looking good. Let's try removing them all and see. Let's take these two as well. Oh, all the three and remove it. Yeah, so that is better. Just remove all of that whole section there. Remove everything from it. And that should look good. Alright, so let's continue this. We're going to add in an extra one again. So press Ctrl and R, left click and right click. Keep it in the middle like that. That should be looking good. Now to make sure these ones are also out of it, we're going to select it and remove it. Like that. Alright, so we have what we need in there. So let's move on over here. Press Ctrl and R through here. I don't know if that goes all the way through. It doesn't. So what we're going to do is let's select this one and press H to hide it. Press Ctrl and R through here, press E and then F, align that with the inner area, like that. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Press E, and let's align that over here. Press Alt and H, take these two, press Alt M, and choose at center, like that. And just pull it back to, you know, give it the same amount of space like that. Now press Ctrl and R through there, and keep it in the middle, very nicely. Now I'm going to take all of the ones up here, and... I'm going to press E and then Z. Move this up just a little bit like that. And um, I'm going to see. I want to deselect all of the ones here all the way to the back there. And we're going to move this back a little bit to match the angle we have there. So just move it back like that to match the angle. That is looking good. And I'm going to take all of that again. Go into wireframe. Let's deselect this one. 
let's go all the way up here go into solid view let me see okay so all of those are actually matching with the shrink wrap so we don't really need to do anything to them now let's just press S and Z and type in zero just to now let's take let's take this one change the pivoting point to active element press S and Z and type in zero like that so that should be good it should just flatten out the top very nicely for us and that is looking good so what I'm gonna do is put in one in the middle again just like we did the others and I think we have edge loops everywhere we need them except let's add one more over here so press E and then F align it closely to it like that do the same thing at the bottom press E align it closely to it like that over here I'm just gonna put one more in the middle like that very nicely alright so do we have edge loops on this ends I think we do okay now down here down here do we have it all the way through yeah just press ctrl and r through the middle like that add one more over here and just make sure yeah so one there press g twice slide it all the way close to the end like that that is looking good so i think we have it everywhere now so what we're gonna do is to add in the solidifier right now and i know i said five minutes guys but i guess sometimes we just you know say stuff Sorry about that though, we're, we're going to finish hopefully in under 10 minutes. So all we have to do now is to just add in the solidify. So let's add in the solidify real quick. Press Ctrl and A. Let's just, uh, what do you call it? Apply rotation. No, apply this scale. Yeah, apply scale. Just to make sure we're applying the amounts of solidify. So let's just take a look at the one here. Make sure we have the same amounts of solidify applied. So take a look at this thickness. And let's try to create the same thing over here so drop the thickness down no okay um point zero zero five i think was the thickness no it was point zero zero three five yeah i remember point zero zero three five that was the thickness nice so with point zero zero three five what we're gonna do now is to apply the solidify so apply it and let's go over to the middle here let's delete the faces in the middle here so select all of this, press X and choose faces to delete all of those faces. Also up here, do the same thing, X and choose faces. Now I'm going to go back into solid view. Let's go to the middle here and let's press Ctrl and R through the middle here. Hopefully that goes all the way through. I'm going to wireframe. Yeah, so it goes all the way through to the bottom, I mean to the bottom and all the way to the other side. And let's see if we can do... Let's put let's hide that. Let's put one also in here. And let's hide that as well. And where else? Between the doors as well. So we're just gonna put one through here as well. Hide that. I mean hide, not move. Let's do the same thing over here. Control and R. Hide that. And where else? The windshield of course. Let's move in here. Put one in between. Let's hide that. Alright, nice. So, yeah, that is good. So, what we're going to do now is to hover over all of these vertices here. Press L to select all of them. Why is it selecting all the way through? I thought I hit everything. Don't I? I separated them. Oh, okay. This side. So, press Ctrl and R3 here as well. And hide that. Now, let's try that again. Still doing that. And I'm pretty sure it will be from no this side has it hidden so which one is causing this now who could be causing right it's here so press control and r through here hide that as well and let's try that again still happening okay this is gonna take time to figure out yeah here this is the final one i bet it's the final one for sure so let's hide that let's try that again yeah there we go so remove that from the vertex group let's just go down here remove that from the vertex group like that and add in a new vertex group and assign it fully to it like that so that is looking good we're gonna press alt and h to bring back everything else um, so we're gonna go back to the object I mean the modifiers here and copy one of them so after copying it, just change this one to group 001 
and change the offset to 0 0.0035 and that should fall come on what happened what is going on yeah 0 0.0035 wasn't that the amount we applied why am I still, still seeing seeing stuff sticking out of this one let's hide the front fenders real quick and let's take a look at this okay why is that happening let me just go back in here let me go back in here again and let's see select all those that we just assigned that's all of them oh oh okay I think let's see what is going on now this is going to take much time guys um I'm not so sure but I think it would be best if we just remove this. Let's remove all of them. So let's just remove. Let's remove. I mean, remove. Is it remove? Now let's select and remove. Yeah, there we go. So let's, with all of those selected, let's just press. Let's just press X and dissolve. I mean, let's delete the faces like that, okay? So we have only the edges over there very nice so you can see it's more of like applying only rim on something let's press alternate to bring everything back now I mean they're all on hidden so let's take all of this here I'm gonna take all of those and we're gonna press alt and s to fatten it up and just pull it out a little bit like that and let's remove it from the vertex group both vertex group like that so you can see that gives us that nice rounded edge that we wanted on the model so you can see that roundedness going all around it let's make sure that happened everywhere and I pretty much think it did I bet it did everywhere just gonna take a look up here as well yeah yeah it looks like it did very nice let's go all the way down here as well Yep, happened here too. So it basically did it everywhere for us to give us that nice bevelish area that we needed. Very nice, like that, all around. Yeah, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Select all of this, press Alt and S, and then pull it out the same amount as the other one. Just pull it out and remove it from the vertex group. Okay, like that. So with it removed, you can see the nice bevel area that we achieved with it removed that was what we're looking to get on all of the sides very nicely now this side is next let's move over here select the middle edge loop press alt and s let's scale this in a little bit and remove it as well and just scale it in a little bit more nice so that is good very nice we're gonna do this over here as well now this is taking more than the time limits that I set up for you guys and I apologize but I didn't know the stuff took that much time to create like that so sorry guys just follow along and we should be good alright let me just get into wireframe select the middle edge loop here as well press alt and s and let's scale this in just as much as the others and remove it from the vectors group I think they are already removed they were never assigned to any group yeah so that is good it is looking really good. Now let's go into the areas here as well. Let me just zoom in real quick. And we're going to scale that. I mean, Alt and S to shrink that inwards just a little bit like that. Now, it's not even assigned to anything. All that area is not assigned to anything, so we can keep that. Now, I don't know what is going on here, though. What is this? Why do we have this issue here? Why is that happening? Do we have some doubles in here or something? I don't think so. So why is that happening? Is it because of this? Press Shift and E. Let's type in negative one. Let's see what happens. That isn't what it is. Let's dissolve this edge loop. 
Alright, so dissolve that edge loop. Let's try to shift an E again. That gives us some weird problems. Shift an E type in negative one. Break bring that back down. I don't know why that was doing that because it didn't do that with the others. No, that is not good. Let's dissolve that. Shift an E. So just give it some few amount like 0.5 instead of a full one. So just give it a 0.5 like that. Yeah, so just give it a 0.5. I don't know why that is happening all of a sudden, but just give it a 0.5. And I bet it's also happening here. So let's just zoom into one point like that. And yeah, it's happening. So select all of these here. Yeah, press shift and E and type in negative one first. And then press shift and E again and type in 0.5 like that. Let's zoom into one point like this. I'm going to select the one in the middle here, press X and dissolve that edge. So you have that nice flat area that we wanted. Now I'm going to select the one in the middle here, press Alt and S, and then let's just, come on. Yeah, pull that up just a little bit like that. So that is looking good. Let's move on to this area. I don't think we really need to do anything here, but... Yeah, we don't really need to do anything here, so just leave that side as it is. Let's move on to this side. We definitely need to do something here, so I'm just going to move in here. Press Ctrl and R through the middle. And let's remove that from the vertex group. Press Alt and S. Hold on. Oh, we already have one in the middle there. So like this, remove it. Press Alt and S. Let's just pull this up and down like that to give us that rounded edge there very nice except we don't have a supporting edge loop around it let's do that right now so I'm just going to press Control and R through here let me select this and hide it press Control and R through here let me see where that goes okay so we'll hide both of these press Control and R press E to align it with the inside one like that make sure it falls right in the middle of all of those and add one more through here as well Press E to align it with those sides. Let's just press Alt and H to bring everything back. Now I'm going to select these two, press Alt and M, merge it at the center. Let me get into wireframe. Move this out and up just a little bit to give us that nice area there. Let's do the same thing here, Alt and M at center. Pull it down just a little bit. And you can see what we have, nice supporting edge loop around it like that. That makes it look much better. Alright, so I guess that's it for the solidification. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I'm really sorry this took more time than I, I, uh, I assumed. But yeah, all in all, we finished this piece now. We're gonna be moving on to the doors, maybe. So I'll see you guys in the next video.